Okay, I'm going to play some Knights of Chalice 2 by Heroic Fantasy Games. Note, I'm on the Steam version right now, so I'll load here. What I did was I just, I downloaded the Steam, I had a key, and load my save. See, remember my saves from the 1.2 version I, I just mentioned this on stream, that I got from the, the dev. I just copied the save folder over. It was very handy. And this just Steam just means it's going to upload a lot faster. I'll always be on the correct version. And previously, you might recall, I was chased down into the, the depths. Go, go away, flies. We go, go over here so the flies will chill out. Got some levels put in. Let's actually see what this is first. Flight is disgusting. The letter is gone! It's a frightening thought, but it seems the party is well and truly trapped down here. <laughs> oh well. Corpse. He or she looks half past dead, so you can't tell what it is. But, but we have skills. Now, skills are binary choice in this. You either have them or you don't. Like, human is always diplomatic, even if you're like intelligence, four. Four for a human, you're considered diplomatic. I'd like more granularity to it, but that's how it was done in this. Anyway, I can use my arcana skills. Look at the traces of magical energy. What killed this individual? Batharan examines the corpse. He founds vaporous strands of black magical energy connecting the corpse to the Pokala, so a magical trap, probably necromantic in nature. There's no question these bones will turn to an enemy skeleton as soon as Bokelis is lifted open. <gasps> My goodness. So crafty. I love it. Necromancy! And also, I would do a religion check as well. Because the same person checking it because they're a sorcerer. Sorcerers in this, just... I'm just going to call them mystic thurges because that's what they are. Right? They get arcane and divine spells. Ooh! Batharan brings his hands close to the corpse and feels a warm aura. He then channels positive energy to bring peace to the restless spirit seems to be trapped in this room. A ghostly figure appears. Again, 100 XP! I've always wondered, is it 100 XP the party gains it and we're splitting it six ways? So it's like, yay, 100 XP, or so we each get 100. I think, I think we're splitting that, so... Yay! Alright, ghost. Thank you, Brother Batharan! I am Palena. I was an adventurer like you. My brother is Helen, the head of the Adventurer's Guild in Fitchberry. Please bring him this token of remembrance. It gives you a Scarlet Gem to the party. Ooh! Take the gem and continue listening. A new quest we add to your journal. Bring it back to the guy. So just remember not to sell that gem. Good people have been disappearing in Fitchberry, so I was sent to the sewers as part of our investigation. Sadly, I was quickly captured by dark sorcerer Yanos and his men, the Circle of the Black Rose. I have suffered greatly at the hands of Yanos, the Ghost Shutters. Oh my god. Black Rose is all the day. Every day. No more lights, I beg of you humbly. Will you restore my honor and avenge me by slaying Yanos? Even now, I can feel his dreadful power growing. Very soon, I feel no man in the entire world of any chance of stopping him in his reign of terror. Are you really talking this guy up? I mean... I mean... You have my word. I'm not a paladin. Words of honor. This guy seems dangerous, but we might have to kill him anyway. But, I'd say and. And we might have to kill him anyway. It's translation, the original. The dev's French, so... Any kind of... Uh, oddness in terms of the, the flow of the word would be because of, uh, because of that. I don't... Ah, uh, he seems dangerous. We'll try. Do my best. There you go. You gotta, you gotta give yourself an out. I'm buying by magic to attack anyone who opens the Borcalis. So be prepared and please destroy my remains. My soul will then be able to depart and enter the domain of Athana? Athelina? Farewell, my friends. Ah. Uh, see, I could do this if I had these abilities. I don't, I don't want to see these, actually. I prefer them to be a surprise. But yeah, if I had the turn undead domain power, or if I had the banishment domain power, that'd be Clark. How Clark domains work in this is they just grant you the, the, like, the power up front. We saw that with the orcs earlier. They, like, Serility, they were casting haste at like level 1. It's kind of wild. Anyway, wait, um, they just did that. I was, it was going to like level up game, but okay. As the party gets close to the portcullis, a strange moaning sound can be heard. Hmm, wonder who did that, huh? What's that? We know what it was, we were told. Okay. We're going to save. In case I misclick or something. Create new save, always create new saves. <laughs> Alright, so I have exclamation points. I didn't want to... Well, exclamation points. Gi giant stars. They are kind of like exclamation points. And I, first time I saw that flashing star was Mario Brothers. So I was like, it is a, it's a giant... It's more than exclamation point. I think we should start something, right? Instead of like exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, you have like, you have like a star, right? What if you can't draw, right? You need like, like a stamp. <laughs> or an emoji, right? That's what emojis are. They're, they're an expansion of the language. And some traditionalists don't like them. I like them. You, just, you know, you need decorum to, not to use too many. I have six people. What, the giant, what would you do? There he is, there he is, okay, he's hiding in the giant. Mysterious figure, who is CR.5, he's like level 1 character. Can I look at him? He is mysterious and neutral evil, and he has fists. Okay, he's, he's like a little level 1 cultist kind of thing. Ugh, his stats are trash, he, <laughs> he's very middling. Ugh. 
Oh, uh, so we need to level our characters. Uh, so the V. Let's see what we have first. V V is okay. Yeah, V for each character. You click over the guy, and then you go there. So that's this is my fighter here. Sorry about that. I'm just looking at this like. <laughs> peering at it. You almost want to get a micro uh, magnifying glass. I need this. I want just like a little box here. Just click and drag. I want this to fill the screen. Because there's a lot of granularity and depth in here and just squinting at it's not great. What do I want for this guy? I already gave him blind fight. Awesome. Cleave. I'll t I guess I'll take great cleave. Does he have power attack already? I don't know if a power attack's a thing on this. Pierre. I don't think he likes it. I don't know. It's like if, you, if you're a strength fighter, you pretty much want it. I might not be in. Well, what are we going to do with you, fighter? CR2, C... Okay, CR2 is level 3. Okay. Well, let's upgrade you, fighter. 13. Nice, nice, nice. Remember, I'm not gonna save scum on the hit point rolls. I'll get what I get. I'll get at least... You always get at least one, then you get your con bonus. So, I, I don't... I ex yeah, 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 I know the breakdowns. Thank you. The average. Like, if you compare this to, say... Oh, wow, three feats. If you compare this to, say, Pathfinder Kingmaker, a game I'm also playing. No, not recording it, because I think there's a lot of recordings on that. I'll record if people want to. Want to see it, but how that works in that game is always maximize your hit points, and that's I mean, I'm cool with the rule of maximizing at first level so you don't get stuck with like one hit point. <laughs> so you're like, you're always like, anything can kill you. You could die to like an angry cat, it's like, oh my god, it's horrifying. <laughs> kitty ambush, you just like your head off with a kitty claw. <laughs> they did one did like one d one d two minus one damage, that was enough to drop you. It's like, oh my god, I mean, probably still it would drop you, wouldn't kill you, but still. Yeah. Anyway, 13 hit points. That's awesome. And ability score increase. I get one? This level is checked. None. Hmm. I'm confused. Normally you get... Uh, I, I know this, actually. In 3.5, you get an ability score increase every four levels. So it's 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and up with five of them. Maybe there's a house rule changing that? P Pierre runs a lot of house rules. That's the dev. That's fine. I just... I, just, I like to know these things. All right. This is, now, this is a dumb, dumb, dumb fighter. He's really, really dumb. But he's really strong. So, what do we want for him? What's death blow? What is that? Okay. I can perform a coup de grace as a standard action rather than a full action. That's actually pretty good. Because coup de grace means you're finishing them. You held them and you're pulling out the dagger and you're going right between their arm plates and cutting their throat or, you know, whatever. Stab in the heart. Coup de grace. Instant kill. So, yeah. That one is French. <laughs> Doing it as a standard action rather than a full round action. Hmm. Yeah. That means I could do it. And, like, I could run up to someone and do it. Like, normally, you can't do a full-round action if you've done anything more than five-foot step. That's granular? I'm, I don't know if I want that, though. I'm not going to have someone dropping holds. That, that's normally how you render someone helpless or sleep. But I think sleep in this has those strict H, uh, HD hit die requirements, so... I don't see myself doing this. Maybe, like, yeah. I can just kill him with DPS. Mobility. You recommend mobility, do you? Yeah, if you want to push for whirlwind attack... Plus four whenever I trigger an attack by opportunity. This is good for, like, your vanguard. You're rushing in. You can just run past them. This fighter's not very fast, though. I think he has movement 20 because of his heavy armor. Which is better more for barbarians. I actually didn't take a barbarian. Whirlwind attack in this is typical 3.5. As a forward action up for a circular run attack against everything within reach. It's pretty good. Uh, he has the stats for it. He just has them. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, uh, yeah, I need, I need mobility as well. Maybe. It's not a poor choice. Point blank shot for him is a... It's not great. Five is his damage focus. What's this? Oh. <clears throat> oh, my, oh my. Look at that. I mean, this is like a no-brainer. Would you, Mr. Fighter, like to do extra plus two damage with every weapon ever? Yes, yes. Normally, that feat is per weapon. <laughs> That's a really good feat. I think we're going to take that. Death blow. What's that do? Oh, that, that we are right about that. Shake it off, number three. Shake it off, two. This is like a Pathfinder thing. I like it. I mean, I, I like Pathfinder. That's cool. It gives a fighter more saving throws, because fighters have high forts, high fort saves, and their will is trash. So you can easily hold them. That's how you shut down fighters. Or you can drop fireballs on them, because they have trash deck saves as well, usually. They get additional saving throws. That's pretty good, but I already have Shake it off, two, which gave me additional saving throws on held, daze, slow, confusion, berserk. Okay, that's good, good. Now, three... Gives me... Yeah, I, I actually want that because how, how... Well, what's his wisdom? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just let's just pick feats. Whoa. Strength focus, what does that do? 
Oh. I get a plus two on all grapple checks. Yeah, grappling's a thing you can do in this. So you can shut down a caster by just <laughs> bear, bear, bear grabbing them and wrestling them down. So like, because spells have a somatic component. They have to be able to move their hands. If you grab them with a, like a, a bear grip, they can't move their hands. Yeah. It's very effective. And you can get out of a web. Web's a pretty good spell. Things like that. That's a solid pick. All good picks for... Oh, oh okay. Thank, thank you. Back. Survival gives me... Okay, I don't drop till negative 15. And two more maximum hit points. Die two points. Oh, guy. Tower shield? Nah, I don't like tower shields. They kill your attack modifier. Minus two, you don't normally. Oh, you don't suffer it. I don't have a tower shield, so no thanks. Death spell resistance. Ooh, wow. These are pretty powerful feats. Normally these are like epic level feats. If I... This lets me... <clears throat> essentially gives me... Almost a kind of evasion. But for... Fort spells, like resisting a disintegration or a death. That's pretty cool. You also get a second willpower save against the psionic power recall death. Oh, I was a lot of good stuff here. Mobility is solid. Toughness is just... You hit points increased by four. <laughs> Toughness is crap. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's the feat of desperation. There's nothing else for you to take or you roll constant ones. Uh, I, I'll take deafness so I can play. <laughs> pretty much. Otherwise, you're not going to be in combat. I won't shake it off three. That's solid. And I get three picks, remember? This is wild. Two weapon expertise. Plus one to melee damage rolls. Damage rolls, not attack rolls. Different. It's more attack rolls I want to modify right now. When you wield a one-handed weapon or two-handed weapon with two hands. Blah, blah, blah. Now, why would I take that? I mean, when I can instead take all damage goes up by two. Which I might need to punch through damage reduction. I mean, eh, what else we're going to go for? Improved trip. I think you need trip to have improved trip, right? Trip's awesome because whenever they stand up, triggers an attack of opportunity. I'm using that a lot in Pathfinder Kingmaker. Dude, with grease. <laughs> Just parking my melee right in front. I do a lot with um, Little Magic Gauge too, which I'm, I'm recording. Trips will not trigger attacks of opportunity even if you don't have this feat. Okay, that, that must be a change that they normally do. Unless you're doing it as part of an attack action, like often wolves will have that. Special feat, wolves and dogs have that. At least the big ones to fight. Plus four special strength checks to trip or resist someone else's trip. That's solid. That's a good pick. Improved stand. <laughs> I stand alone, right? You know, that's actually really good, though. It, it sounds silly, but it's really good. I'm like doing like a backflip to get up. You trigger, do not trigger attacks for opportunity when standing up. You still need the move action. That's, that's awesome. That's actually surprisingly good. Improved draw. This is normally called quick draw. With this feat, you can still use the inventory in combat without triggering any attacks for opportunity. So you're reaching your bag really fast. Think, think Batman kind of thing. You got everything on your utility belt. Still need the move action. And you can't mess around the inventory more than once. This is primarily good. I was using this in... Uh, what was it? Knights of Chalice 1. A lot of my casters. Because I had so many wands. I just... <laughs> I'd use it to equip the wand. And then cast... put Because I had dagger on the other hand. To use the wand. Put the wand away. It was very handy. It was quick drawing wands. Pretty cool. Sorry about that. I mean, so there are a lot of good feats here. A lot of tempting feats. But I really have to focus on damage with this guy. Improved escape from paralysis. I can't afford him getting locked down. Improved escape from snares. You can attempt to break free from a grapple. Oh, this is pretty good too. Or a stuck condition, blah, 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 using a move action. As a result, you could Ooh, you can perform two attempts per round. Oh my goodness, it's quite nice. In addition, whenever you give a reflex save... Due to the grease, if you fail, you can immediately attempt to attack. Okay, okay. It's approved escape from snares. You want that. Please don't fall down, big guy. I need you to not fall down. And then he has no sound power. I'm pleased with that. That's a good that's a good level up. Mr. Degor Smash. His power just massively increased. Yeah, his CR didn't go up. Good surrounding down, but he's got shake it off. So most things he's gonna get a saving throw on. Any kind of really mind affecting things, which is fragility, nause nauseated is horrible. Because his will saves are not great. You see his saves here. Fort's good. His willpower is absolute trash. Because he is not just profoundly unintelligent. He is not particularly wise either. Or charismatic. He's like super grumpy. He's all physical. Which is ironic because my sorcerer is like the exact polar opposite of this guy. He's all mentals. Oh, pff, my mystic third. Which I was calm. Just to avoid confusion. And great cleave. He has great cleave. Alright. Cleave in this. I'm trying to see if it's an active action. Or just it activates when you kill something. Yeah. Yeah. It's standard cleave. 
there are other cleaves, which I think Pathfinder has, in which case you there's a cleave and then it's like it lets you attack another creature when you hit one creature, you just keep going, and then there's classic cleave which triggers the hit when you kill them. Like it's like you take their head off and you keep going, that kind of thing. Like berserk berserk kind of thing. I like both. I mean Pathfinder has both. Okay, so that's cool. I'm happy with that. I'm not gonna save loads of that thing anyway, but I do wanna make good choices. Alright, so I can go yeah, thank you. So C V. V is characters. I have to hold over the guy. This guy leveled up. Here's our stats. He's a full base attack bonus melee druid. This is the best way I think of this guy. Storm Warrior. Druid kind of sort of thing. But, uh, ranger. But ranger cool, not ranger lame. <laughs> I particularly care for rangers. Storm, Storm Warrior is cool though. It's a homebrew kind of class. Now, what do I want for you, man? What, what do you... Feats, feats, feats. He has cleave, die hard, cleave, great cleave, so he can just, there's no limit. Light armor is in light armor. Efficiency axe, his reach weapons. Galv. Okay, okay, what are we gonna do with you, man? Neutral good, cool. Big guy, what we got? 10 points, I'll take it. Well, I'm, I'll take it if it was one. I just, I'd, be, I'd sadly take it. He's only got one feat because he is not a fighter. Fighters get a lot more feats. As, as the humans, humans get one more feat too, so. Definite case of Homo Superior there. Healing Master. He can take that because he has healing spells. All your cure spells heal additional 1d8. That, that's solid. That's solid. I think I already have someone who has that, though. Improved Trip with the big guy. Augment Summoning is solid, but not for you. You're kind of frontline. Blind Fight's good. Dodge is plus 1 AC. That's nice. I mean, I'd like you to not fall. That, like, not falling would be great. Improved Escape from Paralysis. Command... Held, hold person, chromatic orb, color spray, blah, blah, blah. I'm kind of feeling the escape from snares. I don't want, I will, like, I want to be able to drop, like, a web and these guys can get out of it. Like, because I'm going to be, all, oh, oh, well, overwhelmed, right? One thing I do like about, about this dev's, uh, homebrew system is divines have to pick their spells as well. It's not like, oh, you're a level one cleric, guess what, you get it all. <laughs> you know, in addition to whatever you get from your domain. Or your druid, oh, you get all of druid spells, which are like clerical spells, but more elemental, and you tend to get, you get reanimation, you get reincarnation instead of raised dead, things like that. But I like picking. Summon crocodile, it's solid. Hold animal. I never found a use for it. Gust of wind is incredibly good. Flame spear, we've learned, and this is not good. But gust of wind's awesome. Because you can combine this with, with, say, grease, and then blow them away, and they slip and fall. <laughs> All effective creatures are not prone, just seeing how good it is. If destination squares are occupied. Yeah, so we're gonna learn Gust of Wind. I, I like I really like Okay, I just click okay. That's all I have to do. Yeah, okay, I click okay. Yeah, okay. And wind wall, huh? Affects all allies in a 20 mile uh, 20 foot radius, 20 mile radius. All allies and bolts shot at you and your allies suffer a 50% mischance. So it's like it's like blur, but just for arrows. But that's really good. I like that. I actually prefer my casters to be primarily support and crowd control as opposed to just DPS. DPS itself, I prefer to do conventionally. And with that, Ka Bathoran. He's in grain. He's my wizard. So C. He's actually a pretty tough. Well, pretty tough wizard. Look at that. Look at that dex. That is a nice dex. So he was able to do that because I was able to tank all my. He's a, he's a very grumpy and not very wise wizard, but he's smart. Glitter Dust, protect from energy, flame sphere, which I thought was cool. It's not coolness. And what, what do you have for feats, man? So I, I think this is going to be a level up episode, just because I, I didn't want to do it off screen, because it, it's, it's a big part of D&D &D and D&D &D alliance system to show that. Good at alteration, not so good at enchantment. Remember not to take enchantment with this guy, because he's not going to be so great at it. Improved initiative, so he goes first. We can drop that fireball quickly. Because you want the wizard going first, the cleric going first, and the wizard not something that's particularly valuable. Seven points for a wizard, I'll take it. Alright. Now. Superior con. Plus four in all con checks. Yeah, we want that. We don't want to botch those. Meta magics. Meta magics, normally, they. They increase spell levels, they, they eat up slots. I don't know if they work that way in this. I have to, I have to be careful and read it. Main magic silent allows you to cast sound spells. Yeah, so they're going to take up another slot. I prefer not to do that. Mobility is awesome for my wizard if I can get away. But this wizard's kind of running up, so I'm, I'm not too worried about that. Green wizard, because he's a green wizard, you can get improved reach. 
I can cast a spell, enhance weapon, protection from energy, enhance ability. Protection from energy is alteration in this, or transmutation in this. I don't mind that. Just, I've always thought abjuration is kind of, you know, an interesting school. Might as well merge with transmutation. Or divinate, or mm, evocation. Whichever one more applies. Greater enchant. So I can cast those spells as close range rather than touch. So I can kind of, I don't have to get next to them. That's kind of cool. I can just do that. Improved alteration. Enhance a bonus for your spells. Increased by one point. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Focus alteration does what? You gain a plus one to the DC of... Okay, it's, it's spell focus. That's solid. And they just list them. Thank you, Pio. Dispel... Man See, this is, what, this is what I'm saying. They got rid of... He got rid of uh, abjur abjuration, which I like. I, I agree with that, because it's a very... No one takes it. No one takes abjuration. No one wants to specialize in not a thing, no, in preventing a thing. Everyone wants to do the thing, right? Come on. I mean, folding it into transmutation makes sense, or alteration makes sense. You're altering reality. Mute, slow. It, that may, slow is, well, Dispel magic would normally be abjuration. as would resist energy, things like that. Stone skin. I don't see stone skin on here. This makes all the DC. Time control's awesome. Has a DC. Not bad, not bad. Uh, his intelligence is probably high enough that I don't need that, though. Improve widen. I cast a widen version. At plus one spell cost, so I'm not getting that for free. And gain a sixth missile, because the magic missile gets even better. I don't find, I don't really like magic missile. There, I said it. It's, it's not interesting to me. Particularly level one. <laughs> I get one, one d4 plus one, and it's a d4s as well, don't you know. You have force damage that auto hits, great. Not not interesting to me. I'd rather just fire off a cantrip up or hit him with a crossbow or something. What do I want? Superior Khan's awesome. Extend spell range. You must be a spellcaster or a psionic. Okay. Extends the coast range, minimum long range, distance for spells by five feet. I'm just the extend spell range. Okay, I'm just, I'm just making sure this isn't a made of magic. I just get this. So he doesn't have that. That means Everything's going to be five feet more. He can reach further with his spells. For buffing, that's particularly good. Like, he's going to cast a large person a lot. Mobility he doesn't need. Spirit Con, tempting. Improve alteration. I'm saying improve alteration. We're going to specialize in making things more awesome. Enhanced weapon and greater enhanced weapon. Enhancing bonus from your enhanced ability. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that spell's not going to become obsolete as well. And we've got pick spells. Handily telling me the spatch the spell matches your attunement, meaning it's alteration. Dark vision. I would never, 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 never cast that spell. I mean, it's just not worth it. Oh, Ew. you can see the magical darkness. Okay, it's a little cooler than it normally is. Normally, it's like it it doesn't see the magical darkness. You need like a devil to get that. Now, enhance ability. I should take because I just buffed something. I just made it cooler, so take that. And mute mass blur is a second level spell. Oh, you're attempting me. That, that's a solid yes, spell. Mute single target in medium range gains mute. It can't open a mountain, can't cast verbal spells. Nah. Mass blur, man. I'm mass blurry. Oh, oh, I have to. I'm happy with that. Yay! So that's actually, I'm a wizard. I have to remember that. So I have to uh, 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 tell it to memorize the spells, right? No, no, in this, they don't do the spell slots. Well, they, they just let you cast everything, which is generous. More generous than I'd be. So if you notice, this is normally a spell you cast prior to battle. I can't cast prior to battle. It doesn't last long enough. It kind of irks me, though. Plus four bonus to either, and then from cast level increases to plus six. Now, but I should have that feat, which I just took, which should... Ugh, it's so tiny. Everything's so tiny. I have quick, quick casting, too. I can cast protection from arrows, enlarge, enhance weapon, blah, 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 blah. It's move actions rather than standard actions. Potentially means I can cast two spells in act for each turn, which is pretty cool, if I stick to those. The enhanced bonus from... Okay, it, yeah, this should just work. 
That's only plus six. Awesome. And who are you? You are my silent healer, right? I'm asking you, dude. I don't remember. <laughs> I think he is. Alright, so these guys level because the other guys dropped. I think sometime. Yep. That's my, my green wizard. That is my... My mystic thurge. Who, who dropped. So you the stats are just physicals. Oh, get that guy away from combat. And Cow Elf is my psionic healer. Which has... He has psionic points and spells. So PP and spells. Power points. What am I going to do with you? You are an elf. So you are immune to sleep. Solid. You have healing mastery. I gave you healing mastery. And I gave you augment summoning. So this guy... He's going to heal, and he's going to drop summon spells. Does what he does. And do it with as many slots as possible. Five hit points. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> Whatever, I'll take it. Die hard. <laughs> I automatically stabilize when knocked out. In addition, at the end of every battle, automatically cover 1d8. That's awesome. Per one point per level. That's actually really good. Save a lot of healing long term over that, but that's for a front line. Extends the close range. That's actually solid for him. I don't care if you go first. Because they can touch, I'll be able to touch heal by like not being next to them. So like will keep me out of melee range potentially if I'm going against a huge target. Sonic healer, all your cure spells heal two additional points of damage. In addition, you may activate the Sonic Power Cell Division as a seven as a level two power rather than a level three power. That okay, that's ooh, ooh, like you, like you that. Sonic talents. You gain an additional number of power points equal to your level. Oh, okay. This bonus increases automatically. Well, I'm a sucker for spell slots, so yeah, gimme. That's why I love Mystic Thurges. More spell slots, you mean? Of course. Oh, I got a feat. Wait, I, I already took it. So I want a talent. Yeah, okay, and it selects. Oh, okay, I get the powers too. Divine spells and level. I can pick ones, we don't need those. Oh, okay, what do we want? Cure moderate is solid. Well, yeah, we, we need that actually. Is there a summon? What level are we gaining? We are gaining four. Okay, so I... I don't know if you had three level spells or not. I don't know. I don't remember. Sound town. Okay. Well, we'll find out. I want Care Moderate. And... Enhance Open Clark. No, 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 no. Not great. Blue Wizard. Um, green Wizard does that. And... Sound Burst. That's like one of the few clerical spells that can shut things down it deals sonic damage also more coolly called thunder damage but yeah because it sounds cooler sonic sounds like a restaurant thunder damage sounds like thor you know so and it stuns oh you know silence is pretty good too. sounds is really good all creatures become silent silence creatures cannot cast spells of verbal components and are immune to sonic damage silence creatures also take a minus one penalty to ac unless they have the blind sight so I could shut down casters with this if I go first. He's probably not going to go first, though. Mass remove fear. Okay, I'm going against necromancer dudes, right? So I might need that. That's alteration? Okay. Lesser restoration. Removes the fatigued and exhausted condition. That would be more interesting if I had a barbarian. Because they get fatigued after a rage. I'm going to sound burst. More solid. And psionic powers. That's like the coolest thing in this game. Cellular division. Con dissolving touch. Oh, he, he already knows Gust of Wind's a psionicist, it would seem. You have a s oh, they're telling me I have a scroll infused with a psionic power. I'd say it's probably like a mind crystal, or whatever, but still, whatever. Lend life. Cell division. Personal. Cures 1d12 hit points, removes the bleeding and dying, plus 2 pp <laughs> to increase the number of hit points cured by. We, we want that. We want cell division. Biofeedback. This personal power grants DR2 for four. Okay, so maybe a little self-defense thing. Bestow power. You grant two power points to a psionic user. Plus three power points to increase. So you're like transferring power points. And it's a second level spell, so it costs two PP. You're giving them two PP. Plus three PP to increase... <laughs> so silly. To increase the amount granted by two points. So you're not coming out ahead doing that, but if someone's low and you have more, you can share it. Energy absorption, select an energy type. This affects allies only. But it's personal. Ah, it's confusing. So it only affects me. Energy missile. But see, this lets you pick an element. You normally pick Sonic because it's the least common resistance, less fighting trolls, in which case you want the fire. You deal 3d6 to one creature per level. Okay. I'm trying to see if it's like 
It requires a ranged touch attack. Okay, it's not like magic missile. It's not an auto hit. Fire and electric requires a reflex save. Uh, Sonic Cold requires a fort save. That's, that's not bad. It just requires a ranged touch attack and his, you know, his, his dex isn't there for that. Energy stun, 10 foot circle. Okay, lots of choices. Targets that fail must succeed on willpower. Ooh, stun them. Stun's awesome. I'll tell you about stun. Can't take any actions. Takes the turn. That's pretty cool. Enhance ability as a psionicist. Inflict pain. Oh, it looks like a little baby version of Circle of Pain. It cause agony in a single target, resulting in a penalty to four on attack rolls. Is there a save? Uh, willpower save. Okay, so I could, I could really screw up a fighter with this. That's pretty good. Like that. Lend life. Heal the target for 2d10. We'll take DMG with a half. Not bad. Mind Hammer. <laughs> Sonic spells have such cool names. Intellect Fortress. Mind Hammer. Ego Whip. It's like so cool. 1d4 plus 1. You make that single target confused. Um, Mind Hammer is pretty awesome. We want to confuse things. Preferably things that are in the middle of the enemy spawns. Like, get if I go first before their fighter, confuse their fighter, they'll attack their cl clerical wizard. Dazed takes their turn. They may not take any action. Mind lock. That's pretty good. Swarm crystals. 15 foot cone. Deals 34 slashing. No save. Not bad. A lot of cool stuff. What do we take? I thought I took one, right? It's not showing me what I took. I thought I took cell division. Didn't I? God damn it. God damn thing. It's annoying. <laughs> One would think you would tell me what I took. It, okay, maybe I didn't. I'll take Cell Division. I didn't click OK. And Concussive Blast, no save. No save stuff doesn't interest me. It's a little bit of damage, but whatever. Energy Stun, what do you do? It's pretty cool. So many cool spells. Mind Hammer. We're bringing the Mind Hammer down. Yes, Cyanox is awesome. All right, we'll go save. I'm gonna get some kind of action. I am going to do a battle. Right, so. Past the Porcullus, a little way in the corridor, you see a mysterious figure. This Porcullus is in your way. There seems to be no other way other than lifting it with brute strength. So, I have a half giant. He will take care of it. But I could mentally focus on the mysterious figure. I could use religion to concentrate on the mysterious figure. I could preserve them, pretty much. Uh, let's read their mind. I focus the mysterious figure. That's my Sonic Warrior doing that. The effect doesn't help the party much because the mysterious figure seems to be mindless. Oh, so it's a zombie. Religion. Concentrate on the mysterious figure. It's undead and about to attack. It's why a zombie. Uh, domain power. No, no, no. Just, just lift it big man. In one smooth motion, top of the mountain lifts the Pokals easily. Fortunately, you do not make much noise, so do not attract new monsters. Yeah. The mysterious figure reveals itself. It's a malevolently animated skeleton. The corpse in the corner suddenly stands up. You face one more animated skeleton. The enemy's attacked, but you were expecting it, so you're not surprised. Haha! -ha. So avoid the surprise round. And my wizard went first. Don't bother attacking a skeleton with a dagger if you don't have any ability to add your dex to it. They have DR5. And that's broken by bludgeoning. So, the dagger will do nothing. It's not indicating. This is an issue I have with the Cyanoc Beetle thing I was fighting earlier. The DR is not shown. I know skeletons have DR5 penetrate by bludgeoning. So I'm not going to bother whacking him. There's no point. So, the, my wizard... Whoa, wait, 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 wizard. You have, you have a heavy crossbow? Okay, that can deal enough to punch through. Okay, so we will take the shot. One damage! I'm so pleased. It's something. It's more than I thought I was going to get. I had in the corner, man. Ah! Oh! It swapped over quickly. Ah, oh, I'm annoyed. I'm super annoyed now. You're meant to attack and kill! Alright, look. Well, the skeleton's in armor. Alright, fine. I'm gonna go here and... Ah, oh, ready versus approach. Bring it! No. He brought it to me. Alright, so this is my... Papa Robe Sion Healer. Okay, now. What do I want to do? There's no point doing anything physically with you, because you're not particularly suited to that. Ooh, Mind Hammer's ready. Cell Division. You know what? Just, we're gonna... See, they're, they're warning me we're gonna tax for opportunity. I believe, what is it, shift? To do, oh, five foot steps, move. Move, okay, so we're gonna do M. I'm gonna stand there and just space bar. I could have shot him with a sling, probably should have. 
Attack! One damage. But fire, because he's a, a salamander man. <laughs> okay, we're gonna actually do move, working towards the, the, the flank there. If he hits him, yeah, he's a bludgeoning weapon. I wish this log was a bit bigger, but... See the damage? Ugh. Ugh. There it is. Oh, now whose turn is it? It is my... Sai... My, my Mystic Thurge. Okay. To hide in the corner, man. What do you have? You have oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, I access the inventory crap. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Click to reload. I have reloaded. Attack! Dead. Yes! The skeletons are hiding head pairs, they bred. Astrogala, which is really cool because that lets me take all those goodies. Okay. I know you need healing. A rock. It's super shiny. My characters want the rock. I picked up the shiny rock. The shiny rock appears to be a rock. Odd. A sort of rock thing here. I don't, I don't know. So I'll uh, two over here. Let me look at the rock. Is it just a weapon? It's a bludgeoning weapon I can use? <laughs> That's what it is. Because of fighting skeletons. That's funny. That looks trapped. Okay. Inspect. Talk to it. The study door is closed. What do you do? Smash it open attack, granting you a surprise round. I mean, you kind of tell me, man, there's something beyond that door. Let's listen at the door. You listen at the door. You hear a number of people talking behind the door. The door is too thick to allow you to understand the conversation. But you hear the word ceremony and sacrifice. Oh, my goodness. And some, some maniacal giggles. The sturdy stone door is closed. What do you do? Hmm. I slam it open. With big muscle man power. In a dazzling move, Dagor smash smashes the door open, and the party bursts into the room with weapons ready. Combat begins immediately, and you benefit from a surprise round. And he's got a purple, blue, well, blue sword there. I want that. Yeah, I think they won't die. Because I get this, well, that's a, okay. That's an evil cleric. I know he's evil, because he's here. How evil are you, cleric? Magic and reach. Huh? Three, oh my god, it's a lot of spell slots. Okay, what, what do you... My character's very good at reading things, so they make sure it's effects, but okay, he's, okay. He doesn't ha he's surprised, that's good. Got lost lots. Yeah, we have to kill the cleric immediately. I got the surprise round, so actually sounds would be handy here. Well, my wizard's going. I could use that Astrogala stuff, but I don't intend to. He has a crossbow, right? Dark cultist, what's your deal? Your your he has a magic broadsword. I better get that broadsword. I, get, I feel so cheated when they drop a magic weapon. I, I drop someone who has a magic weapon and I don't get it. Where did it go? You know? Evil barbarian. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Just don't let me hit you. Dark wizard, what do you have? His eyes are hazel. <laughs> great, great. Good to know. Good to know. It's a necromancer. Okay. Well, I'm out of spell slots, but I have a freaking huge crossbow. So, kapow! Three damage! I'll take it. Alright, who are you? Are you a giant dude? My giant dude. You're using a hippo bearing. Ugh. Damn it. Alright. I want to lock you down. Kata. Damn. Can't act surprised. Haha. -ha. Yeah. So now they're, they're no longer flat footed. I believe. But you. Can't attack target out of reach? Seriously? Well, go there. That gets me a nice flank. Who are you? You are a liability. If I get you anywhere near combat, it's too far away. Hmm. Yeah. I'm actually gonna position them some right behind. So he'll yeah, assist in a flank. He'll give him plus two. It's something now. Mind hammer time, maybe. But the smarter bet might be to put a regeneration on my my fighter. PP. How much PP do you want to spend? I don't know. The minimum, man. <laughs> I gotta save the PP for later. Oh, yeah. He didn't, he didn't take the thing to be able to cast on other people. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. My fault. I chose something else. Grease. Grease is solid. Precognition, initial armor, thinking skin, the mind hammer. We're gonna hammer down, that sound good. But, I mean, 
Let's not overthink this. We have grease power. Just use the grease. And use one PP on it. One PP. Not two. Can't reach him. Hmm. You're barbarian. Slip and fall, barbarian! Ha ha ha! When he tries to stand up, maybe he'll get away. Swing too. Alright. Now you're my wizard, right? So you can do things. You can just. You can cross. Well, stand there! And. Gotcha! Two damage! It's not much, but it's something. Kill. Well done. And kill. You grab him, yeah. That's fine. Good thing I gave him that chance to avoid uh, to get two saves. Oh, he just made the reflex save. To get out of pinning. I didn't know he was gonna drop web, but it's it's a common second level spell because it's really good. I can't reach him. Cause I okay, I can't charge in a web, that's why. But I will go to here and, and attack. And destroy you. <laughs> we felt good. Take the shot. That was only gonna hit on twenty anyway. All right, Ka Elf. I'm gonna give you, dude. You have some rocks, some sling bolt. Ah, I checked inventory. Crap, no turn. <laughs> Whatever. He's in web anyway. My message casting. Sound burst. Well done. Well done. I'll drop somebody. Please don't kill anybody. Now, I'm cool if you drop them. Just don't kill them. Did you? Oh, my God. He dropped my fighter, too. No, the fighter's right there. Cool, cool, cool. Got all weird. Uh, break free. The giant failed. God damn. That's bad. Ready for his approach. Now, I could kind of push him into that. But I gotta kind of get back. Ha! And, uh, break free. No. Break, well, slip free in this case. Break free. Oh, it breaks free. Uh, he ran away. A little. Sh Whatever. Okay, no one, no one's dead, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. I think someone died. Oh god. I take the cryptic message. Okay, who's dead? Ah, it just ruins everything. You have defeated this group of cultists and prevented them, prevented them from sounding the alarm. Did I? One ran away, and he can't climb that ladder. Okay, because that's say we. And how to get away? You just have to roll to get away. Whatever. And I guarantee they wouldn't let me get away like that. For this feat, I received an extra 50 hit points. Yay, what a celebration. Thank you. Telgon's dead, though, so we have to load. Yeah, let's get used to it. Saved game selected. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Did I save that previous battle? I did. Gotta put a break here. Gotta play some more, though. It's just we have to make sure no one dies. I'm gonna have to spend some healing to make sure that Telgon does not die. That's fine though. This is Nice of Chaos 2 by Heroic Fantasy Games. Uh, like, subscribe, I'm gonna play some more. Just gonna put a break in the video, it's gonna be a bit long. 